In the last couple of years, we have seen a trend of Blender add-ons for creating realistic atmospheres, skies, clouds, you name it. And trust me when I say you need those. So in today's video, we're gonna go over the most popular ones so far. But before we do that, I wanted to let you know guys that the Blender market is having right now a huge sale which includes discounts on the majority of products like add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Also, just in case you don't know where to start, there is a list in the description of this video to help you get the best Blender resources. So we're gonna start with what I believe to be the one that pioneered this category of add-ons. And from what I can see, it is the most popular. Physical Starlight and Atmosphere is a full environment simulator that brings visual consistency while looking at objects in a scene, which is really, really needed. This add-on can simulate any star and the sky is not only a static sky dome, but the whole atmosphere, which is great, from the ground to space and beyond. The amazing thing is that calculations are based on the physical properties of how light is interacting with the gaseous medium. This add-on is actually used by many studios like Embark Studios, Ubisoft and 343 Industries, the makers of the Halo series of video games. What makes this add-on create realistic atmospheres is that it fills Blender scenes with air or any other gas where the density at the ground level is the highest and the air will be reduced as we move out into space using physics laws, which simulates the real world accurately and as a result will get more believable renders. But the most critical part of the calculation is the fog. Like in the real world, it changes based on the altitude of the observer. And even though this add-on is based on real world physics, it still gives artists the freedom to control their scenes and environments according to their needs. And from what I can see, it is one of the best in creating atmospheres and rendering. Another worthy contender that appeared in the recent few months is called True Skies, which is a complete sky system for creating lighting, clouds and fog inside Blender using cycles. So if you are tired of switching to HDR eyes every time you want to try to light your scene, or you need more atmosphere in your shots, then True Skies is probably for you. It is basically a full feature sky tool that will help you not only add skies to your projects, but also atmospheres, clouds, fog, dusty weather, or hazy deserts. So you can clearly see how versatile this tool is. So this add-on allows you to make moody, atmospheric scenes in a short period of time with what it offers. For instance, it provides a long list of highly detailed sky presets with a lot of control and customization over things such as brightness, sun rotation, the time of the day, in addition to the hue, saturation, etc. Furthermore, the add-on also allows you to add different, fully animated and physically accurate and highly customizable types of clouds that can affect the lighting in the scene. And to make it easier for you, the add-on comes with an intuitive interface and for ease of use, it offers different volume quality presets. So you can choose between different quality settings that range from the fastest performance to the highest quality, which can be really helpful depending on the power of your computer. Also, you can use the fastest when working on the scene and at the end, you can jump up the quality if you want to do a final render. It is also important to note that the add-on only works with cycles. So if you want to use it with EV, this might not be for you because the developers clearly stated that it does not work with EV. Also, B production, the developers behind many Blender add-ons such as Cam Effects, Gobo Slide Textures, and Tree Vegetation also have recently released a new fantastic add-on called Cloudscapes, which provides you with a bunch of hyper-realistic VDB clouds collections. The add-on is basically a photorealistic 3D volumetric clouds library in VDB format inside Blender. The add-on works as an asset library inside the software, which means that you can go and drag all your assets into your scene and it will be dropped in the viewport. And this is possible thanks to the asset browser that Blender now offers, which allows you to collect your libraries of materials, textures, 3D assets, HDRIs, and much more in just one place. Additionally, the Cloudscapes add-on offers some preset shaders that have different parameters to tweak and allow you to create some crazy textures and shaders. Another thing that the add-on offers is the 29 biomes that can be used for geoscatter and this will enable you to add many clouds on different strata for maximum realism very easily and quickly. 
so you could export all of these 29 cloud ecosystems that are all built from the real clouds. But you need to keep in mind that the cloud scattering needs a powerful computer. Therefore, you can use it if you have a mid-range computer at least. The add-on has a total collection of 211 clouds divided into 9 large families of clouds and 2 additional categories which are ready to work with both Blender Cycles and Eevee. These clouds categories include Smoke Trails, Stratus, Autostratus and Cirrus, in addition to Miscellaneous and many more. Now, talking about skies again, we have an add-on called Prolighting Skies from the Blender Guru, the beloved teacher slash artist slash business genius of the Blender community. Anyways, you can use this to instantly change outdoor lighting to any time of the day, any weather, and achieve more realistic results because it is based on using high dynamic range images or what is known as HDRI. Even though this add-on is a bit old, it is important if you render outdoor scenes because it makes the process easier and faster since it gives you control to choose from many different high quality HDRI images taken by professional photographers to mimic realistic lighting that we see in real world environments. For the time being, the add-on has 4 clear skies, 17 cloudy, 16 evening, 12 morning skies, 9 overcast, 22 sunset, 10 space and 5 night skies. Similar to True Sky, we have an add-on called Pure Sky, which is a great Blender volumetric lighting add-on for creating realistic looking skies in addition to lighting generated by procedural volumetric clouds in a few clicks. And you can do this using presets of over 15 types of skies and 10 types of clouds in addition to a lot of cool features such as day and night cycles, paintable clouds, thunderstorms, planets, procedural water, solar eclipse, and sun shadow. Another great solution for volumetric needs inside Blender is called Easy Fog. The interesting thing is that this add-on right now is trending and it is super popular among Blender users. It got over 35 presets of fog that you can experiment with, ranging from light fog to heavy fog, as well as colored fog. The add-on also allows you to tweak some settings to get the desired look that you are looking for. You can set the color you want, and you can change the value of the seed, scale, and roughness, and also the level of detail that you want. And Old Tab Easy Fog also enables you to set the distortion value, as well as the location, rotation, and the scale of the volumetric fog. The way it works is really simple. You just need to simply select the object that you want to include in your fog, and then select the preset you like. After that, you just press Apply Fog to select the object. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. And don't forget, the sale is gonna end up very soon, so make sure you take a look before it is too late. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.